Hi, my creatures, my please get rambitious, delicious. Scipio, welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for Scipio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, inner person, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bubble date, marriage. Let's take a look. Please show what you draw us what is happening for Scipio and their person. This is your March 2023 energy update, and we are assuming some kind of a rift or separation between you and your boo boo. Oh, Scorpio, I'm so sorry. There's so much heartbreak here. Baby, give mommy a kiss. Mm, it's going to be okay. Listen, it's going to be okay. But I see so much heartbreak, so much pain, both sides. Oh, Your person feels trapped in the situation. Not even so much trapped. They feel trapped in the hands of fate. They feel like whatever happened here is unstoppable. You know, the wheel of fortune is turning and they're not on the right side of it. They're just down, just somewhere beneath this little double here. You know, they're like, <laughs> mm. they know, they know they left this in a bad way and they know that you're not in a good way. They left you in a bad way. They did you dirty. All right. They know they did you dirty. The eight of swords. What a douche flute. But they feel like they had no choice, like, you know, like the pendulum was swinging and they were <laughs> sitting on the pendulum going up and down. Whatever happened here, they feel like mm, the decisions they made in this connection and the way that they treated you or related to you was something they couldn't control. Let's see why. Please show me what you tell us what happened here in the past to make this situation so. I'll just give you them and just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you are new and if you are a returning blue angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. One more kiss, baby. I love you so much, Scorpio. You know I do because I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising. And this is the Scorpionic safe space of the internet. You can let your stinger out. Take off that stinger bra. Air it out. <laughs> also, Scorpio, thank you for coming to my lives. Thank you for coming to the Oracle of the Dead Life where we were speaking to the, uh, the spirits on the other side using tarot. And thank you for coming today. I am doing another live on Wednesday uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific time. We will be meeting with a, a mystery guest. <laughs> I'm calling her a mystery guest because it sounds cool. Um, it is a, a very, very dear friend of mine and a wonderful esoteric boo boo, uh, a foremost expert on all things mystical and esoteric and also the tarot. So don't miss that conversation. We will also be uh, talking about the Ides of March and different traditions uh, in astrology and esotericism and taking your PayPal questions. So uh, join us 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time on Wednesday. All right, Scorpio, the Three of Pentacles. <sighs> wow. This person was juggling a lot of things. They had a lot on their plate. They, they weren't keeping up. They felt out of control. This person feels out of control to me. You were looking at them. You were giving them the side eye. Look, the seven of pentacles, here's, here's you with the side eye. Here's this person juggling stuff. They were kind of low key in hell too. They had all kinds of problems and, uh, and, and a half. Like all kinds of problems and a half. Financial worries, maybe a past partner was onto them. Like they just had all these pressure, pressures, all these problems. They were trying to keep it together, but they couldn't quite keep it together. And uh, an ending occurred here that was really, really, really painful. You felt really, you felt disappointed by this person. And this person felt like they had no choice but to allow things to end or to end them because they just like, they just feel so disempowered. Let me see why. This is a very difficult energy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> give me a second, Scorpio. Did you see that card fall down? All right, babies. Two of Wands. <sighs> they had to make a decision about something. There was something they needed to do, something they needed to, to finish. What was it, Pupil? Six of Pentacles, financial worries. They had financial worries. Could have been financial worries far away. I don't know why that's coming up. So it could be far away from them or in a, a, in a different place, maybe like an ex-partner uh, demanding money or something like that. Maybe they weren't 100% truthful about things with you. I'm sorry, but I don't. <laughs> this happens sometimes. I don't know why. All right, so... You know what I'm saying, Scorpio? They had um, they had financial burdens, but it was like more than one, and it was more than one type of trouble. And you were just like questioning them, side eyeing them, and they had no answer for you, so they just allowed things to end. Cause and they came in with a defeatist energy, you know, like well, what's the point? Because like you know, they just there's a big restriction on them here. Uh, it's like they just feel like that wheel of fortune is turning the wrong way for this person. Oh, Bibel. 
I mean, you're Scorpio. You could sense something was wrong, but I feel like this person didn't want to tell you the whole story because they thought if they told you the whole story, you'd be like, okay, I'm out. Especially if it was a bimbo himbo. Anyone in between you met on Tinder on a Tuesday was a new energy. They were like, I can't tell Scorpio the whole truth. So if, if, if they find out, I would like a crazy ex and like I'm in debt and all this and all that. Um, maybe, maybe they have like previous, like something with the law. You'd be like, I'm out. I am out. So they just let things dissipate. If it was um, a more established connection, I see somebody here who was keeping you in the dark about some trouble they were in. And again, they just let it end. But let, let me tell you this, Scorpio. You felt betrayed by this person, but when this person mm, allowed th things to end, I don't know why I'm saying it like this, but that's what I'm getting. They allowed things to end. When they allowed things to end, you felt, also you felt like they didn't fight for you, but they just allowed it to end because they felt disempowered. And when they did, they felt like they stabbed themselves in the back. You felt betrayed by them, but they know that they betrayed themselves even more. This was extremely painful for this person. They didn't want to let it go, but they felt like they had no choice. Um, because of, you know, worries. Worried, they had worries, so many worries, too many worries, too many problems. If it could have been a ghost or two, you know, if it was a new connection, they just suddenly disappeared or something, or, or it didn't, you, you were asking too many questions, they were like, I can't answer this. The Three of Swords, their intention, wow. Scorpio, I'll tell you what, like, we always, we always attract this, don't we? Uh, mommy is the queen of this. I'll tell you what, this person and their intention, they just wanted, like, I think this, this is so sad. This person has accepted that this is over and that they effed up and that they're going to have to live with this for the rest of their life. And they think this is irretrievable. They accepted it. They accepted it. But, but they're not happy about it. This is the thing. They're heartbroken about it. But they're, they're accepting the torture of the heartbreak. They're walking away from this, uh, from this connection for now. The Eight of Cups. Let's see what's going to happen in the future. Boo -boo. I'm so sorry. It's not even a defeatist attitude. It's just like this person is trying to tell themselves, like, you're just being realistic. I'm just being realistic about the situation. There is no point. Like, what is the point in continuing? But they're walking away all by themselves, sad and lonely into the night. You know, this is not somebody who's walking away for a better life. This is somebody who's walking away from something that they think they don't deserve. Let's see. Please show me each holes. What is the future? Ah. Oh, I felt it all over my body, Scorpio. This is a deep reading today. This person will be back. They think they're walking away from this. They're giving up on this. They're giving up on love. They're giving up on life. They're walking away in shame to just hide away and, and accept that they'll never, they'll never be happy. But they're coming back in on the Two of Cups at some point. Scorpio, look. You should never wait for someone, and Scorpio definitely never waits. But um, in all the readings we did today, there's not a single douche flute. A lot of the energies are quite scrumptious. I don't think this is a douche flute either, but it's someone who's in a lot of trouble. They're going to try and solve the trouble. I think when the trouble is solved, they're going to feel better about coming back in. They know they lost you, but they're go going to... Re um, they're going to regain hope that they can somehow win you back, and that's when they'll be back, the Two of Cups. It's going to be in the summertime. Either this summer or next summer. I know this sounds like a really long way to the Scorpionic lifestyle, but it is what it is, boo -boo. That's what I'm seeing here today. It will take a while. Um, you will probably move on by then because Scorpio moves fast, and this person knows that, but they feel like their hands are tied. That's, that's how it is, you know? They'd like to come in, but their hands are tied for some reason. You'll find out when they come back in, healing will happen, and you will learn a lot about the situation, a lot more than you know. You already know a lot because you're psychic. And you're the FBI of the Zodiac, but there's more to it. And they're going to say, they're going to say such beautiful things to you. They're going to say, I love you in ways that you've never heard before. Because that's how they feel about you. This person really loves you so much. But they're in so much trouble, Bibi. Oh, Bibi. My heart hurts. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below. Don't wait for them, though. You know, you get on, you get on with your life if it, you know, if, if this healing is meant to happen, it will happen in divine timing too, because of the wheel of fortune here. 
uh, bip, bip. let me know in the comments below if this is your story screw reel. Also, if you vibe with my channel, you know what to do. Like and subscribe because that really, really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me or are interested in any of my magical services, including spell work, uh, specialized tarot readings like the Oracle of the Dead, uh, um, or uh, coaching, uh, all the information is in the description box below. And I will see you on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time for the Ides of March with our special guest. <sighs> uh, I'm so excited for that one. So join us if you can. It's going to be a fun time. Uh, I'll see you next time. My boo stay sparkly, stay creature, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Give me a <laughs>